हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम प्रोफेसर यस आर शिंदे फ्रॉम केकेवा कॉलेज ऑफ ॲग्रिकल्चर बिझनेस मॅनेजमेंट नाशिक टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस ऑन टॉपिक न्यूट्रियंट अवेलेबिलिटी अँड इट्स फॅक्टर्स ऑफ इट न्यूट्रियंट अवेलेबिलिटी न्यूट्रियंट अवेलेबिलिटी इज द इंटरॅक्शन ऑफ न्यूमेरस फिजिकल केमिकल अँड बायोलॉजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज इन सॉइल्स इट कंट्रोल्स द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ प्लांट न्यूट्रियंट टू अंडरस्टँडिंग दिस प्रोसेसेस enables us to manage selected soil properties to optimize nutrient availability and plant productivity let's see the different factors affecting nutrient availability to plants first factor is soil texture if there is a coarse textured soil so that soils are susceptible for leaching of nutrients from soil as compared to fine textured soils therefore split application of nitrogen and potassium fertilizers are advocated for various crops instead of one heavy application during basal dose next factor is soil structure if there is a well crumb structure which holds the soil water and air in good proportion in which most of the nutrients are available prismatic hard structure affects root development if there is angular blocky structure then that structure is at a solum also affect root development in horticultural crops platy type of structure reduces the penetration of air water and roots next factor which affects the nutrient availability is soil reaction most of nutrients are available in the neutral range of soil ph that is about 6.5 to 7.5 the increase of soil ph of more than 8.5 which affects the availability of nutrients like phosphorus which fixes the calcium in black soils the nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium and magnesium are fixed in the soil of high ph with high lime content next factor is temperature high fluctuation in air temperature during day and night affects the nutrient absorption from soil during winter uptake of potassium reduces due to decrease in soil temperature below 10 degrees celsius hence mulching and windbreak trees helps to maintain soil temperature next factor is moisture supply the greater amount of moisture in the soil the more dilute the nutrient availability moisture content at field capacity supplies the availability of nutrient to plant which can achieve through irrigation next factor which affects the nutrient availability to plants is composition of soil air if soil air is in, uh, in important for respiratory activity and nutrient uptake then proper air and water ratio increases the nutrient availability in soil the next factor is supply of nutrient elements supply of mineral nutrients depends upon parent material that is rock which contains the elements then mineral like muscovite which supplies the potassium quartz quartz supplies the silicon apatite supplies the phosphorus albite supplies sodium smegmite key mineral supplies potassium calcium and magnesium total nutrient content of uh, soil how this total nutrient content of soil affects the availability of nutrients so let's see the storage of total nutrient content in soil depends upon the texture depth and organic matter content then the capacity of nutrient supply to plant called as soil fertility which decreases by monocropping excess use of irrigation water and extensive cropping system next factor is microbial activity soil microorganisms helps to increase the concentration of nutrient availability the activity leads to an increase in certain ions in solution the anions bring an equivalent amount of cations in solution and next factor of uh, affecting nutrient availability is organic matter content the organic matter that is organic carbon increases the nutrient content in soil after mineralization process and it decreases the fixation of nutrients mostly phosphorus potassium and magnesium hence the organic matter content in soil increases the cation exchange capacity of soil and ultimately increases the nutrient availability of soil so this is about nutrient availability and different factors which affects the 
nutrient availability. So I hope you like this video. Thank you.